it's been a really, really busy year for the year 690. And they wouldn't have achieved anything like the have if it hadn't been for the wonderful staff team they've got. Whether they only work two hours or whether they're working 62 hours. They always give 100% dedication, for which I've always been extremely grateful. So I'd like to personally thank them right now for all the work they've done. Jim is quite new. <laughs> Jim's only been here for about the past four months, but I've got all my faith is now in Jim for to carry on all this hard work. Because this is technically my last meeting of the A690. I've been around since, the A6, since before the A690 even had a name. So <laughs> I've been around about nine years, so I think I've done my stint. I think it's time for me to like, move on and give it to somebody else. What I can say though is there's a, there's a new pair of eyes, a new person coming into the organisation. What has really impressed me is just like, as Trish mentioned again, you know, the commitment of the staff. And any organisation, particularly a voluntary sector charity, you know, relies heavily on those people who are delivering the service to young people on a daily basis. You know, and as you go through the report, you see the work of, you know, the... TTIU, you know, teenager thinking over, looking at sexual health and teenage pregnancies, uh, the outdoor activities that, you know, widen a whole wide range of canoe and kayak and pothole and uh, part of the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. The one step further is the special needs group, you know, offering opportunities to, to adults in that sphere. The youth charter, the XL events, which obviously is a, an important aspect of uh, some future work for A690. The football programmes, the sporting programmes, a whole wide range of things that's uh, probably too, too numerous to talk about. But again, I can't emphasise enough just how important you know, the efforts of volunteers and all the members of the management committee are volunteers. You know, they give their time openly and willingly and, and freely to support organisations like the A690. And again, the staff I've mentioned, but in particular, I think it's the young people we come into contact with. You know, they've got a small sample of the young people who have been here today. Again, just dead keen, dead willing. Uh, to give their time to help others. And I think that's what many aspects of a 690s work is about young people giving of their time. Not just being seen as, as often publicised in the press where young people get a such a negative sort of view in the, the local media. You know, young people doing this or doing that. You know, there's a lot of positive things being happened. Um, young people like this are just a small example of the, the hundreds of young people we work with on a weekly basis that are given the opportunity to not only get involved with the activities that we offer, many of which are mentioned in the annual report, but other activities, look at issues that are affecting their personal life, you know, relationships, involvement in the criminal justice system, drugs, alcohol, relationships, unemployment, debt, you know, all these issues, many young people come to us for help and support and guidance. And hopefully with the help and support we give, young people are able to move on in their lives. And that is a great tribute to them as individuals and their character but obviously a great tribute to the organisation like A690. And obviously there's many such organisations across the city. But obviously this is something that you know, I'm now part of and very proud to be part of. Um, and I hope that I can only you know, echo the words of Trish, that I can have that confidence and trust and belief to carry on the good work of A690. And hopefully in you know, annual general reports to come and meetings like this in the future that we can have such a... You know, such a wide range of activities and successes of A690. You know, we have a wide range of funders, uh, from the lottery to, you know, which is you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds, to small grants of £50 or £500 from the Community Foundation, Youth Opportunities Fund, etc. All this money makes a massive difference to how and what we can actually deliver as a, as a youth project. So, um, thanks very much. Cheers.